my name is Nehar Shah. I'm the CEO at uh, Moringa School. Uh, so Moringa School is a tech training institution. Uh, we provide vocational training uh, for uh, students who have left uh, ideally high school uh, and we run a boot camp model where we train them in software engineering, data science, uh, product design and we do various other uh, upskilling courses. Um, our mission is to give uh, opportunities to the youth uh, in Africa where uh, in this day and age they don't really need to go to university, they don't need to spend uh, three or four years uh, and tens of thousands of dollars going to university uh, with a view to getting a job. They can actually come to a place like uh, Moringa School where uh, we run an intense uh, boot camp model and we can train uh, tech talent uh, within six months uh, and our mission uh, is to place uh, as many as uh, our graduates uh, into dignified, uh, well-paying uh, tech job. Looking back at how the tech ecosystem evolved in Kenya, we think there is interesting lessons that can be drawn to make sure that we accelerate the same for the climate ecosystem. And that's why Jacob's Ladder is quite deliberate at making sure that we are preparing our young people to take advantage of the emerging and growing green economy sector. It's uh, so great to uh, you know, cross paths again. I think we, we go a long way. Uh, you know, talking about tech, um, when I was running my previous company, uh, Azuri, which was actually in, uh, in climate tech, uh, providing uh, solar systems, uh, small home systems for the, for the rural homes, uh, we used uh, the solution from uh, Africa's talking uh, to, to connect with, uh, with, with our customers. Um, and, and just talking about Kenya, uh, you know, I'm, I'm born and brought up uh, in, in this country. I, I went away for half my life, but uh, you know, I'm glad that I got the opportunity to come back. And when I came back, uh, that was when uh, mobile money was just uh, starting. Um, and Kenya is the, is the, is the global leader uh, in, in mobile money. Uh, I'm, I'm quite fortunate to have also uh, worked um, in, in, in that space, uh, building the ecosystem. So um, we, we did orange money together with uh, Equity Bank, uh, trying to compete uh, with uh, the giant like M-Pesa. Uh, and you know, although, although we, we haven't achieved the scale, but in terms of uh, what you see Equitel now, that's, that's something that uh, you know, I, I worked on. Um, uh, in, in the climate tech, uh, in the, in the pay-as-you-go solar industry where um, you know, the number of users of uh, solar in Kenya are by far larger um, than the grid-connected uh, households. So, uh, and if you look at Africa as a whole, uh, Kenya is a leader um, in, in, in that space as well. Of course, we've leveraged mobile money, we've leveraged um, clean energy, we've leveraged uh, tech. Um, and now I'm, I'm excited to actually play a part in tech and education uh, to really solve the problem of uh, unemployment, but to really leverage again the opportunity where you know, Kenya can become a market leader in producing a world-class uh, tech talent. Fantastic. For me, I mean, the reflection, and thank you for the reminder of uh, you know, good old days um, at Africa's talking, but I'm thinking about 10, 15 years ago when we were starting, uh, when, when the tech ecosystem was just starting out in Kenya. And in those early days, it was really hard to get talent. Um, very few people actually went into software engineering. Um, I remember finance was a big problem to come by. Very few investors were actually looking at Africa. But it's been interesting to watch how that has evolved. Um, I remember when you, when you tried to do seed round you know, financing back in the day, um, people would, you know, would look at us and say, oh, you're in Africa, we can't actually give you funding because you're headquartered in Africa. But that, that has shifted. I mean, it's fascinating to watch how much VC money has, has actually come into the continent. Um, you know, they're like, you know, some really strong names from Silicon Valley now starting to give money directly to African, you know, African companies, um, interestingly, you know, seeing some interesting exits um, that have happened that now people are now starting to see the power in technology and actually investing in tech companies or actually getting into tech, you know. And so watching what's shifted over time, um, of course, mobile money was a big game changer for this country. Um, and we, you know, there's lots of interesting companies that God built because mobile money, you know, as a real, you know, I'm sure like your previous company, part of the reason it existed was because of mobile money. So when I think about some of those infrastructural things that happened, uh, whether it's mobile money, policies, that are, you know, that at least were a bit, were a bit more uh, welcoming um, as far as tech is concerned. When I think about Africa stocking, and part of the reason we're very deliberate about how we built Africa stocking was providing the rails that we, we, we thought developers needed and companies such as yourselves needed um, to communicate and, and get paid um, 
you know, and that, and so I think it was really important to have that infrastructure built at that, you know, that level. Um, and now increasingly tech talent, which I guess is where now Moringa comes in. Um, because in the earlier days, you really couldn't find developers, um, partly because no one went into tech. Now increasingly it's become a career of choice and people are actually starting to get into technology. And so when I think about those factors, um, I wonder, can we repl replicate the same um, as far as climate is concerned? There's a very interesting point you make about, uh, you know, in the last, say, five, seven years, the way investment has flowed in to the continent, uh, you know, right from uh, Silicon Valley, but also, you know, uh, from local uh, funders as well. Um, and I would say that uh, we, we which, which is great, but we're just hitting the tip of the iceberg. Um, I'm just referring to a report that was done by Google and Accenture about six months ago, where they tried to quantify the number of software developers uh, in um, in Africa. Uh, and the number they came up with was something like 700,000, uh, of which uh, uh, 80,000 are in Kenya. Now you can imagine in a continent of a billion people, uh, or in Kenya, or, or roughly 50 million population, we only have uh, 80,000 uh, software developers. Uh, again, if we, if we contrast this to a place like India, which you know, is say some 15, 20 years ahead of uh, where we are, uh, every single year, uh, there is something like 2.5 to 3 million uh, new software developers uh, being uh, being generated. Um, so th that that's the opportunity that that uh, we are seeing. Um, on the other hand, talking also about uh, unemployment, uh, that that's a big problem here. Um, so in Kenya, you know, we have something like 40% um, uh, unemployment. Uh, roughly seven out of uh, ten new graduates who are who are coming out uh, uh, are finding it difficult to get jobs. Uh, in fact, it's ironic that uh, what we're doing is vocational training, uh, but uh, as much as half our intake ends up being uh, university graduates, many with computer science degrees who can't get jobs, so they come to Moringa, uh, where we retrain them and you know help them get placed uh, into jobs. Uh, and then in terms of where these, uh, this uh, tech talent is working, um, of course there, there are the big techs uh, who, are, who are coming here, the Googles, Microsoft, AWS, they're, they're setting up shop here. Um, there is remote working is becoming a reality and also you know a lot of startups um, are, 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 are coming up uh, in, in different elements. I mean fintech we've seen a big wave of, uh, of people working in fintech obviously you know Africa's talking was quite way ahead uh, of that uh, but it, it's, it's really enlightening to see now that the young entrepreneurs uh, uh, working in uh, insure tech uh, or in, in logistics uh, and now you know climate tech is also becoming a reality. Yeah.